today we are going to build a rails authentication app so let's build this so i have run this command rails new rails auth app so this would create a rails auth app in your local machine so the next command you need to type is you need to define cd you need to move inside this rails new app new new auth app and uh, like so uh, this is like this is the command rails auth app so you need to define cd rails auth app and you can move you have moved in this directory and you need to define code dot dot so this would open the vs code on your local machine so this is fine uh then you can click here and you click in rails terminal and then you can type rails server and this would like most probably uh this would uh, open the like this like this would be on your local host so then you can copy this link and you can copy this link and then you can open chrome browser and then you can open the chrome browser and paste this url so this is how we have like so so now the app is running on your browser so this is fine so we need to define few things before we start our application so you can close the server and you can close the server and it would ask you to terminate a job yes so we need to define the rails g controller so we need to define first we need to define very first thing what we need to do you need to move to your gem file and this is your gem file and you need to uncomment this thing so you need to uncomment this and then you need to type bundle so we need bcrypt to store the password in a digested form because we are building an authentication app and we cannot directly store the uh, like be uh, like user password in a raw form so we need to like basically uh, store it in a digested form okay so then we need to find create a controller rails g controller and we need to find sessions okay so basically this is we need to define rails g controller session so this would create a session controller and in the same way uh we need to define we need to find uh, a user controller and a user model okay so let's move this session controller dot rb so this is class session controller and application controller and this is end so this is like sessions controller and in the same way we need to find rails g controller uh, users and this would create the users controller so this is fine and we need to also define rails g model user and which has an email unique and a password in a digested form okay okay so this would create a user model in your uh, machine and this is fine and then you need to type rails db migrate so then we have migrated the database so this looks perfectly fine and so this is fine so we would, we would also have the users controller this is here it is and we would also have the user model okay so so we need to define two things here validates email so we need to validate the email with few things that is presence presence is equal to true and uniqueness uniqueness is equal to true so this is how we do this we need to define validates email presence is equal to true and uniqueness is equal to true and let's Open the console rails console and let's uh, run few commands like if we are sure that our model is being created or not so we need to define user dot connection so now it's fine so now let's define user and we have got a user id is integer email is string and a password digest is, is equal to string so basically this means we are storing the password in a string format but in an encrypted way that is a digested form okay so let's move to new file 
cloud shot army and let's create few resources here so we are defining resources because we are telling them that we are using those controllers in those routes because we need to define a map particular url to a route so for that what we need to do we need to define resources and we need to define users and resources and we need to define sessions okay so this is how we do it and let's define get get method with sign up which says to users hash new and let's define this as as sign up so and for this we need to define get login okay this is not needed right now so we can ignore this and let's this is not needed we can ignore this and let's move to this and we need to define a def new and let's end this method okay and we should also uh, when we create more i'll tell you the most probably we are going to create def create and end this and def destroy destroy and end and when we move to this views users and we create a file okay something wrong yeah new file and we need to define new dot html dot erb and let's define a page sign up so i hope this is fine and yeah so sign up is the page so let's see the flow first so we have a route sort rb we say get sign up uses hash new and as sign up and in here we define a sign up method new and this has a like default statement of this render new okay so if you want to like have a good overview so this is a default statement it must be rendering so we need can skip this as a practice we can skip this and it will definitely render the new.html.erp okay so let's run this and I hope the server is not running so let's exit this rails server and let's define sign up so we have like so it says rendered user.new.html.erb with layouts and let's see yeah the sign up is there so this is the basic layout so in the same way uh, a very quick we can do this we can also create a few things here also def new we can also create def new end def create and we can end this method and def destroy so so this is the basic architecture so we are maintaining user model user controller and a session controller for our application so basically these things are needed so this would help us out to like maintain the application so then in the same way we can create two more routes as well so one is like sign up and another is uh, sign in and one is also like login logout so we can maintain those routes and help us so next what we are going to do we are going to create a form here so basically those form is also like basically it is going to have like few things uh, a registration form basically so we are going to register the user here so it will have a method a basically method which is going to be post okay so this is going to be post method and uh and we will define the action here action is away like it is being empty here so action is there and we need to define some inputs for that okay so i'll catch you in the next tutorial thank you for everyone for watching this thank you bye